Hey guys, I, um, gosh, I feel really uncomfortable doing this because it is just not me, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, I've lost a lot of weight, I feel really good about that, but I'm not like model show ready, you know what I mean? I'm not like going to be showing you gorgeous clothes for number one that are expensive or on a body that's perfect because I still have a long way to go. So I really hesitated about filming this, but so many of you had asked what clothes I'm bringing on my trip. So I, I think the best way when you're trying to put together a capsule wardrobe of some sorts is to take pictures of yourself wearing the outfits that you kind of had planned. And then when you look back at it, it gives you more of a truer picture of what it looks like. And you can, you get like, I, when I did that, I eliminated two complete outfits from my packing. So um, I have taken pictures of me and little video clips of me in most of the outfits. And today I took some more, um, which I will then share with you in a little bit. But my, everyone says, you know, when you do a capsule wardrobe, you should have a basic color theme. And I guess my color theme has been, it's fall, right? So it's a black. I've got some, I've got a pair of black trousers, a pair of maroon trousers. And then I have joggers that I really like in black and also in a deep maroon. So my bottoms are basically those two colors. I have ordered a pair of green, like a hunter or forest green, because like this kind of color green, because that's super, um, I, I like that color. I've always liked greens on me, and it's also super right now in style. I guess it's one of the more popular colors, which is why it's hard to get. So if those pants come in, I, I'll add them to the mix. But um, what I'm going to just show you and superimpose, and again, I'm going to, I'm just going to ask you just to bear with me because I am not, <laughs> I, I no way do I think I'm ready for this kind of a, show but I'm just going to show you the outfit so the um, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is the the first pair of pants that I, I'm going to have with the top and you'll see it I think pretty consistently those pants with a few of my different tops and I'm not too sure maybe I'll put those pants and then I'll superimpose the other pants with the same top maybe that might be better maybe I'll do it that way but anyways the the first pair of pants that, that I'm going to start out with are a burgundy or a deep uh, wine color and they are actually from Old Navy and they're called the Billy pants. They're kind of baggy with uh, an elastic waist with this drawstring that you can tighten and they're high rise. So Old Navy has some, um, I think, some really good pants that I really like anyways. And so I bought those and that's going to be one theme color. And then I also have a pair of black that you'll see towards the end. But the black are high rise, they're wide leg, and they're a linen blend material. And they're, they're not, you're not going to be able to find them right now. You might be able to find them when spring comes around. But um, I, can't, I couldn't find them, and I wish I did, because when I bought these, I probably could have downsized a little bit more. But when I bought them, they had brown, they had green, they had other colors, but I just, you know, I didn't know how I'd like them, I didn't know how they'd look on me, so I just bought the black ones. So they're also from Old Navy. So all of the pants that I'm going to show, including, I think I'm going to show you maybe maybe one pair of the, which I really like their joggers. I, I like their Power Soft line in the joggers. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that, but I think I have pictures of me wearing, pictures of me wearing the, the uh, burgundy color Power Soft joggers. I also have a black pair. I did take a, I have like a gray pair, a slate color gray that I took out. So I'm not gonna show you those pictures. That was one of the things I removed. I, I wasn't really a fan of the color. So all of the pants, including the jeans at the end, are Old Navy. You know, the tops are a little bit differently different. So I'm going to start with this very first one. I'm going to hopefully, maybe I should move this way <laughs> so I can superimpose it over here. That, that might be a deal. Or maybe I should do it this way. Super. Yeah, I'll superimpose it and cover the wigs up. How's that sound? Um, but anyways, the very first one I have on is a floral top. 
and as you can see I'm standing there and the floral top has a, a number of different colors in it you know from pink to mauve to burgundy to black to navy and all that and it is the top that I bought in Macy's. I absolutely love the sleeves. I, I love the sleeves on this top. But I bought it in Macy's when I went to my high school reunion because we had to dress in hippie type clothing, clothing. And I bought that top because of the sleeves. And that was the type of top I would normally have worn back then. And I absolutely love it. It's by, it's a brand called BCX, I think. BCX. Um, and I don't know if you can get the same one now but I wore it in the burgundy pant in the in the black pants that you're gonna see and which one did I show you the burgundy I can't remember you're gonna see the burgundy one and I also have it on in my black pants so in my black pants I think it looks amazing I didn't put it on in my blue jeans, but it would look great with those. And I did not put it on in the hunter green pants because I don't have them yet. But that floral top, BCX from Macy's, I think I have it in a size large. It's just really pretty. I really like it. The next top that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show it to you in my black pants. I'm not too sure if I did this in the um in the maroon ones but in either case you get the gist this gray top is a ll bean top it's a merino wool it just the if you know merino wool it just travels well it holds up well it feels nice it washes nice it dries so if you have to wash it in the sink you can hang it up i got two of them on sale at ll bean when i was in freeport and both of them were 50 percent off but one is an orange color so i I'm not going to bring that. I did decide I was going to bring it at one point, but I'm not going to bring it now because it's really too restrictive. I think it would only just look good with the black ones. It wouldn't even look good with the blue jeans. But it is that, it's that gray top, LL Bean. Absolutely love it. Merino wool. The next one I'm going to show you is a, is a top I bought at the beginning of the summer. It's white with a V-neck, and you're going to see it in the black pants. But it's white, white with a V-neck, and it's by a brand called Habitat, H-A-B-I-T-A-T. -T. Really nice brand, very pricey, but this is another top that travels super well, washes out, just really, really nice. And it looks great with my black ones. It looks great with the burgundy ones. It looks great with any of my black or if I was going to wear it with my joggers. I absolutely love those power soft joggers, the high rise. They're so comfortable. It looks great with them. It looks great with my jeans. So it looks great with everything. And also I can make it look different with different scarves. I have a blue scarf, but um, it, I have another color scarf that I bought that I really like. I just don't have it here. It's in the motorhome and I'm hoping Jay stops uh, by the RV because it's at a repair place and, and picks it up for me. So the next one is my beige scoop neck and that is from, I'm sorry, it's my mauve scoop neck and that is also from Old Navy. It's new in their fall line. I think I bought it two weeks ago. It is clingy so I did buy a extra large because I wanted it to be loose and I have big girls here. So, um, but again, the mauve looks great with the black pants, looks absolutely great with my burgundy pants, and it looks pretty nice with my blue jeans as well. So I, that, that's like a multiple thing. And I can also put, I have a black scarf that I am going to bring, I can put that on. Now, I also have the, not, along with the, the mauve one, I have the, it's sort of a beige one, a beige color, exact same top, long sleeves, ribbed in that sense, and the beige one with the scoop neck, I can wear with anything. So I can, that can go with every single pair of pants I have. And that's also Old Navy. So, so far, almost everything's been Old Navy except for Macy's and then Habitat I bought in a specially, a special shop up in Maine, a clothing shop, more of an upscale uh, shop which I never really go into because it's usually very pricey but I really liked it. I also have a black scoop neck uh, top that I bought, long sleeves uh, that I bought from Chico's which I am probably going to bring but I, I'm not too sure yet. I have two 
tops that I absolutely love. You may have seen this in videos, but I think um, you'll see a, a blue one. They're three quarter kind of like a bell or a puffy sleeve. And they, they've got a, a scoop, you know, a scoop neck, which I really like. And this is actually from Kohl's from the brand Sonoma, Simona, Sonona, I can never pronounce it. And I really like it. I liked it so much that I bought three of them, right, when I found them. So I, the, the blue one that you saw, I have a green one and I have a pink one. So the green and the blue are both definitely coming with because I can, I can wear them with a lot. The pink one's not. That's going to be a little bit too limited. And I think I got them all. So in total, I have like nine tops, including... Um, like in my, I have a short sleeve under armor um, top that I would wear for exercising. I plan on walking the deck of the ship. I plan on going for a bike ride. So there's going to be times when I'm going to be wearing that when I'm exercising. I'm also being, bringing a black dressy sweater. Um, it's a Dana Buchanan. It's an old one. I'm pretty sure I probably got that in Kohl's. But it would just dress up whatever I am wearing at night to go to dinner. Now, most of the places that we're going to go to dinner are going to be casual. So I'm not super, super worried about, about it. But I thought I should have a better uh, sweater or a top jacket in case we go somewhere where you do have to have something a little bit better on. So my long pants, the burgundy, Billy High Rise, Old Navy, the black. Oh my God, I love those black ones. It's a linen blend. I've washed them a number of times in cold water and I've not dried them in the dryer. I've just hung them up and they've dried really nice. They're a linen blend. They're super comfortable. They're so baggy. I just absolutely love it. That's also Old Navy. So my power, uh, my power, my um, high rise joggers, and I have one in black, which is their power soft line. Absolutely love it. I have one in burgundy that I'm bringing, and I also have a gray, grayish slate one. I'm not bringing that one. And then I have their high rise uh, leggings, three quarters uh, leggings, which I, which I really love. So on top of that, I do have what I'm going to wear on the plane. I think. I'm going to wear my Hoka sneakers because, um, and I'm going to wear them on the plane. Right now, this is the plan. I may change my mind, but right now, this is the plan. I'm going to wear them on the plane. And I'm also going to wear on the plane this purple top that I think you can see me right now wearing in my with my jeans. The purple top is by a company called Avalyn. Avalyn. I bought it also at the beginning of the summer. It's just really pretty, I think purple top. I really like it. So unless I change my mind, I plan on bringing that. It is a warmer top, which I think the weather is going to be a mixed bag. I'm also wearing a black zip hoodie that is a tech gear, I think from Kohl's. And then I have a really old, um, an old raincoat that I'm going to bring that I bought in Macy's probably about five years ago it's got a hood so I'm gonna I'm gonna wear those the jeans from Old Navy the purple top the Avalon top that I love my black hoodie right <laughs> and the raincoat I'm gonna wear those four things on the plane and I'm gonna wear my Hoka sneakers they're huge I have a pair of slip-on black um, easy spirit women's glitz no, glitz too, I think. Really hard to find those black with the black sole. You can see the black and they have the white sole. I don't want that. I just wanted something all black. So I have that and then I have a pair of uh, flip-flops from Skechers that I bought a couple of years ago. They're super comfortable. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to just wear them around the room at night or whatever um, as well as I have a pair of slippers. So I've ordered some rain hats. They haven't come in yet. They're bucket rain hats. They look really cool. Actually, it was highly recommended by a group I belong to, uh, a travel group that talks a lot about fashion and what to, what to bring. And then I'm going to have one um, baseball hat. I have a bag with my undies. I've got two extra bras that I'm bringing. Of course, I'll wear one. Then I have like five or six pairs of undies in there and several pairs of socks. I have that. I still have to decide on my makeup what I am going to bring for my makeup because I don't really know what eyeliner, what I know, I know, no, I know what eyeliner, but I don't really know what eyeshadows I'm going to bring. I think I'm just going to put a palette together, um, 
you know, because I use that a lot. And I have the little palettes that you can get, a little little round eyeshadows you can get in Sephora or Ulta. So I'll probably put four or five of them in there. I also have some from Viseade I'll stick in there. And that's, I think, what I'm going to bring. I'm not going to bring, I think, a regular palette. Um, although I did I did think about it because I have been um, using an old, old palette lately that, I, that I've fallen in love with. <laughs> that's really old. And... I was thinking of bringing that, um, but but I, I uh, probably won't. So I was going to make that final decision, lipstick, you know, my dry stuff. And I've already got and decanted all my skin care and my makeup that I'm bringing in sunblock, but it's the dry stuff that I have to put together. So I reserve the right to change my mind. I reserve the right to change my mind. Um, I also, I had to buy a new hair dryer. So I ended up, I, I didn't want to spend a fortune, but it was important for me that the hair dryer that I bought was dual voltage because I didn't want to have to buy a converter to use it in Europe. So I ended up getting um, a little compact uh, Conier and um, it's super powerful. It's 1875 watts and it collapses, it folds. Very, very light and it's dual voltage so it's awesome for travel. So I ended up buying that. That's coming with me. I also have a travel small curling iron that's also dual uh, voltage that I bought, I don't know, last year sometime. So that's coming with me. So there's a, a, a number of different things that I, you know, my electronics. I'm going to bring my laptop, my camera, you know. So And we're doing it in carry-on, right? My two little carry-on bags. So, yeah. So right now, that's what I have all over the place. <laughs> Folded all over the place out there. And, um, yeah, that's the plan. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. First, I thought I would bring a wig. But then I, I'm afraid that it's going to be super windy and... Um, and I don't know, I still might, I still might do that, but the way the plan is, we're flying Boston to Amsterdam with a two and a half hour layover, and then Amsterdam to Frankfurt, Germany, and then we go through customs and whatever are there, and then we have to find our way to the train station where we have already pre-bought our train ticket, and we're taking the train down to Bamberg, Germany. And in Bamberg, that is where Jay was born. Um, we're going to explore that whole area. Most of you know Jay was adopted. Uh, we're going to have a family reunion uh, when his sister is going to actually come to Bamberg and maybe his brother too. But we know for sure one of his cousins is coming to Bamberg. And we're going to spend one full day there. So we'll be uh, overnight, two overnights, one full day. And then on that next day, I think it's Thursday, we... Um, We'll go to Zyl, which is where a lot of Jay's family members, um, his biological family, live in the Zyl area. So we'll go up to Zyl and we'll spend uh, two nights in Zyl. We'll spend Thursday night, Friday night. And then Saturday, we'll make our way to Amsterdam via the train. We already have the train tickets. And then from Amsterdam, we'll spend one night there. We're going to go out on a canal ride and stuff like that. Then we go on a river cruise. And the river cruise is um, it's a seven... Um, seven day, seven night, whatever, river cruise, and we go to all different ports. Um, we go through Germany, Cologne, we go through uh, the Netherlands, we go into Germany, we go into Cologne, a few of the other towns, the Black Forest, we go into one stop is in France, and then our last stop is in Switzerland. So uh, when we leave the ship, we leave in Switzerland, and we have a train ticket to go to Stuttgart, where um, my cousin is going to pick us up at the train station and I'm going to spend some time with my cousin that afternoon and then later that day we're going to the town I was born in where we will have sort of a mini family reunion between my father's side of the family and my mother's side of the family. We'll have that family reunion and then I'm just going to spend about four days. Two oh my gosh, battery died. So I think I left off... Um, after the family reunion, we're going to my cousin's house. We're going to be spending some, we're going to stay at his house for, um, I think, maybe two nights. I'm, I'm not too sure or something like that. But anyways, he's going to take us sightseeing up in his area. We're going to go see, you know, other different places like the town my mom and dad got married in and stuff like that, which is super awesome. And then he's going to hand us off to my other cousin, Sabina, and... Um, 
she's going to take us and show us some other sites in her area. And then she's going to drop us off the night before we leave in the airport. We made a hotel reservation for that night. I just think it would be better. Nobody has to get up early to bring us to the the airport. We'll be there. And, you know, we can pack and we can spread everything out. So, yeah, I just think it'll be better. So is this is, is going to be, it's going to be difficult as carry-on because it's not like we're just going to one location and we can unpack and, and all that. We have to schlep our luggage on a train. Um, we have to go on cobblestone streets. We have to walk. We have to go here and there with it. And the only time it's going to be sort of stationary for any length of time is when we're on the cruise. So uh, packing light is super important. I may have to eliminate something. I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I have a couple of things I'm going to share with you. I'm going to try to shoot another video because I got um, I got gifted a some eyeliners that I'm absolutely loving, 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 and I haven't talked about them. And I also wanted to give you an update on my Nera because many of you know that I've been using the Nera device. I had shown it before and after. Maybe I'll superimpose that in here too. But I'm I'm really loving my Nera and I'm trying to figure out, do I really want to go away for 19 days and not use my skincare, Ugh, my skincare devices, not my skincare, because I'm packing all my stuff. I don't know. But uh, so I'm going to do another video on that and you'll probably see that. Also, the videos are pre-recorded because that's the only way I can get consistent and upload. So I'm filming this video we haven't left yet. When you see it, um, we may. I don't know if we'll be back. I don't know. <laughs> it depends. I have to see what order I put it in. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for being here, for your support, and, you know, and encouraging me to keep going, right? When you have a small channel and slow growing and all that stuff, it's, it's sometimes very discouraging. So if you're new to my channel and you made it this far, thank you, thank you. Please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't, like the video, leave me a comment. I would really love that. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you next week. And eventually I'll be back in real time. <laughs> Bye, guys.